S S S S S I K. So I C K. Sick. Sick. Said. I hope I got that right. I can't see. Okay. Hello, I am an aspiring storyboard artist and was wondering what classes you would recommend taking slash what art skills to focus on to make this dream come true. Thank you so much. Um, I would definitely say go down the animation or sequential art path. Any any path or major that offers um, uh, lots of extensive knowledge in cinematography, um, composition, um, really strong you need really strong foundational skills like figure drawing um be really practice drawing from life um uh, yeah i i, I guess that's <laughs> yeah Wa- watch a lot of movies and television yes shows. absolutely For sure Be-born. absolutely Be- because that will give you the uh, foundation to like i can tell a story because i've seen these stories and when you get into when you start boarding you, you, i don't know if it's true for you erica, erica but like I will draw references from shows and television, uh, television and movies I've seen before. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And and you, it's like you have a new eye that opens once you start storyboarding because you pay attention to it in everything you watch from then on. <laughs> you know, you notice uh, shot composition and and cuts and. Um, camera movements forever after that <laughs> you're the worst person it to watch a movie with in the theaters yeah. <laughs> yeah. your friends are gonna be like shut up yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't say it out loud you just <laughs> i've had that happen to me on my birthday watching spirited away in the theater somebody told me to shut up i'm like critiquing you oh <laughs> it's my birthday <laughs> Let me just enjoy something, please. <laughs> also, I remember I took a spo- uh, storyboarding class uh, in college, and our main book to study was uh, called uh, Setting Up Your Shots. It was a gloss. There you go. Uh-huh. I've seen that book, yeah. Yeah, it's a it's like a glossary book, uh, uh, basically, like where they have terminology for all these kinds of cuts and, you know, shots and stuff. Um, and if that book is basically based on... Um, uh, like they have in every single every single term uh, term that you learn in this book, they list uh, a reference, uh, a few references of movies that you can watch and find examples of those shots. You know that yeah. they list. Yeah, because even if you don't know the term, the rhythm is important. Yeah. Like I can watch someone who's like I can I can uh, look at someone's test. Even if you don't know any of the shot dynamics, or even if you don't know the program, I can tell like understand like where the cuts need to happen you understand what shots need to be used like like pacing, for pacing shows uh, for sure you like go close to wide the wide the wide and like what what's important for like who is like the focus of the scene etc yeah. comic books help with that too yeah oh yeah definitely Where's Where's that book setting up your shots i don't remember the authors but <laughs> <laughs> um, setting up your shots is a really good book if you guys are interested in learning terminology and stuff for uh, storyboarding. Same with uh, Shot by Shot. I don't remember the author either, yeah. but that's a good one. And uh, I think uh, Every Ink is a Frame or Frame by Ink. It's another one. And I think also the five C's of cinematography. Okay. I have that book too. Yes. So, <laughs> all you board artists out there, if you want to these, books buy for these you. books, yeah study these books these are great buy my book <laughs> <laughs> we are not sponsored yet <laughs> yet yes <laughs> okay next person uh katie lazo 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 okay do, do you know that person no no okay <laughs> easy name uh, should i do the intro again or are we good to go oh great oh, there we yeah, go. Let's go. so there was an intro and then there was about 45 seconds to a minute of awkwardness <laughs> that will serve as our musical intro today just us rambling uh, and now, here we are. 